Somebody else who wrote the piece and the basis of the topic and what he discussed, he discussed the fact that he's he acknowledged that he does he acknowledged white privilege. He he's cognizant of the advantages that he has. Everybody, everybody, going down, Houston, come on. Bitty Daddy Vlog, like what's going on everybody, this glass. Um, first time watching this vlog, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, go and check out all of my previous vlogs, topics and everything that, that I've done. Um, people that have been here that still ride with me, thank y'all for still riding on this train, you know what I'm talking about, and we getting to it. Hey, um, Kyle Corver is officially invited to the barbecue. If y'all haven't heard, uh, Kyle Corver, he wrote a piece. And if he didn't write the piece, he definitely did an uh, in depth interview with somebody else who wrote the piece. And the basis of the topic and what he discussed, he discussed the fact that he's, he acknowledged that he does he acknowledged white privilege he he's cognizant of the advantages that he has he's embarrassed by the, by the fact that just how how pe people act towards other people of color and he he was really embarrassed and sickening to himself as far as how his mind frame was how his mind frame would, would work and think about things initially he touched specifically on the situation that happened with Tabo Cephalosha and the NYPD. I'm pretty sure everybody knows. If y'all didn't know, uh, Tabo Cephalosha was leaving a nightclub and he got he got whooped by four laws. And you know, with this Houston accent, he got uh, assaulted by four police officers when uh, Tabo did nothing wrong and. Kyle Corver said what actually what actually made made him sick to the whole situation and what was sickening because he initially started thinking like, well, why was he out during that time? What did he do to elicit getting beat up, assaulted, whatever you want to say, the whole deal? And he felt embarrassed because that's typically how um, a white person in America, that's how their thought process goes as far as like, well, what did you do? in order for that situation to happen. And now his thought process thinks like, well, if I was in his shoes or if that was me, uh, that wouldn't have happened to me just because I would be judged different. I would be looked at different. They would treat me different, however, however you want to say it. So I definitely commend him for thinking about that. And then he also touched on the Russell Westbrook with the Utah Jazz fan situation because, you know, Corver was a long time person that played with the Utah Jazz. But then again, he said he had to transform his thinking to think more like, okay, well, hold up. Like, why was Russ engaged with the fan? What did Russell Westbrook do in order to make the fan say what he say, said or engage in that type of conversation? So, I really commend you, Kyle, for um, acknowledging Acknowledging what uh, people of color have been saying, and then it's very big of you to also say that uh, you need to have that conversation with other people in white America, and this is uh, this isn't a conversation that you need to have with people in Black America because having this type of conversation with us as water's wet, like two plus two equals four. It's definitely appreciated that you're cognizant and it's big of you, and it's a great thing, but by you having that conversation with uh, other people of of your own race and your own color to basically help to try to transform thinking. That's very major. That's very major because you recognize that it's a problem. You recognize that it's an issue with thinking and you're, you're trying to have conversations to transform thinking. So definitely big of you. And yeah, man, look here. Yeah, the, the barbecue. Yeah, you definitely invite you to go ahead, sit down, 
eat some potato salad, play some dominoes, uh, play some spades. Well, I don't know about spades because uh, you might get your motherfucking, yeah, yeah, you might get your ass whooped. Hey, what's up? Back to it. Yeah, um, like I was saying, Kyle, yeah, you definitely invited to the barbecue. Um, you could definitely play dominoes with us. Uh, don't play spades because playing the wrong card and reneging on the spade game will get your ass whooped. So um, you probably want to be a spectator for a little while before you jump on that one and jump in that. But dominoes, you good. Uh, yeah, you can eat, eat as much as you want. Go ahead, bring it to go plate. Um, yeah, you don't need to cook nothing. Now you, you good. You don't need to cook nothing yet. Yeah, man, just come on, come on, come out, and enjoy it, man, and sit down and chill and you know, jam some Zydeco. You know, eat some crawfish. Yeah, have a good time with us. But yeah, man, honestly, though, salute to Kyle Corbett, so yeah, man, keep on going, keep on pushing, and just continue to have those conversations with uh, people like yourself, and yeah, let's get these type of conversations going to help transform thinking, that's what we, that's what really need to happen, so yeah, salute to you, Kyle, hey, been a day to vlog, like, eight time, eight Rockets, man, it's almost, season almost over, it's playoff time, damn near, look here, we need NBA Finals, let's not play Houston, let's get on, go ahead, get to it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Crown World, we still waiting on you. And that Crown World peach is still fire. You know what I'm talking about? Throw it in the game. But hey, Bitty Daddy Vlog, like Ace Time, I'm going to get it, y'all. Hey.